Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your guidance. Lord, I thank you for being a friend, for being with me, for guiding me, for taking care of me. Lord, thank you. It's quite a journey that I have to stand strong. I have to keep myself together. I have to be positive to be able to push on to the next day. Lord, I thank you. I didn't know. I thought I'd make it. Then later I thought I wouldn't make it. But somehow I've made it. Lord, come and teach through me. Father, teach me as I teach others. Holy Spirit, take my, my mouth, take my eyes, take my ears. Lord, speak through me. I decrease and you increase. Let your will be done. And Father, quicken the footsteps of all those who are supposed to be here at such a time as this. And Father, give me a clear understanding of your word. Because you're faithful. There is no one like you. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor, Lord, because you're faithful. Lord, you're faithful. You're a faithful God. You are a faithful God. You are faithful, my whole, my Father. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen and amen. Uh, it's It's been quite a day, so whatever you see in the class, you'll bear with me. But the class has to go out. The class has to go out at the same time. Please pray for me. It's uh, it's kind of tight, but the Lord is good. Yeah, we are back. Mm. We will sing one song. We will sing one song, just one song. I love hymns because I grew up singing hymns, so you'll bear with me. I love hymns with all my heart. Those are songs I sing and I feel I'm touching God somewhere. Yeah, and our friends, their songs are full of copyright. I told you, ask the Lord about that copyright thing. I'm coming for the class of technology. Yeah, we're going to sing our favorite hymn. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is Judge's wedding. Please attend. It is public affair. So we've sent out the link. <laughs> I'll send it tomorrow more, but the link is already on Facebook. On uh, shared it with some groups, and it's on my status uh, WhatsApp. So tomorrow, Jojo is walking down the aisle. Yes, he's going to get married. Marriage. You know, remember the class we handled? Yeah, and it's uh, going to be a prophetic wedding, an apostolic wedding. Are you an apostle? Do you have the prophetic in you? Don't miss that wedding. Trust me, don't miss the wedding. <laughs> okay, we're going to sing the song Rock of Ages. Mm. Uh, now, after Rock of Ages, I'm going to sing with Jojo that song again of the marriage. Yeah, I love the song. <laughs> yes. Marriage is beautiful. Marriage is a good thing. Okay? People out there, if your marriage is crawling and failing, don't badmouth marriage. You're not the inventor of marriage. Marriage is a good thing, but marriage is only for strong people. Mm. Courageous and strong people. If you're, not, if you're weakling, just let go. Don't bother. Don't bother yourself. <laughs> don't waste energy. Mm. It's okay, Jeremiah never got married. <laughs> you can stay like Jeremiah. <laughs> the new breaking, breaking hearts out there. <laughs> okay, let us sing the song. Rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood. From the even side which floor be of sin the double cure cleanse.
Cleanse me from its guilt and pain. Not the labor of my hands can fulfill thy law's demands. Could my zeal no respect know? Could my tears forever flow? All for sin could none tart on. Thou must save and thou alone. Nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to thy cross I cling. Naked come to thee for grace. Helpless look to thee for grace. Foul I to the fountain fly, wash me, Savior, all I die. While I draw this fleeting breath, when my eyes shall close in death, when I soar to worlds unknown, see the all thy judgments run. Rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Rock of ages. I want to do something else. You can sing along. Rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from the sharing <laughs> i am the technical person i am everything <laughs> rock of ages cleft for me let me hide myself in thee <laughs> song and we see that to teach <laughs> yeah genealogy 
genealogy, call your mother, call your father, wake them up, it's Friday night, to Slongato. <laughs> We're going to sleep in the shoe. <laughs> to him overnight. I should get a change to shoe. Excuse me. That's the young lady, maybe to me, just so you'll bear with me, please be. Bear with me. <coughs> Okay, it's here. Sorry, bear with me. It is the weather is not friendly, my friends. <coughs> it is quite some time. <coughs> okay. Oh, Mienganga Nasiga. Oh, Musoi. Oh, Murukozi. Nemo kwesi ge ebirara na yengumire ngakugwe. I look for it in English so that our friends who don't speak my local language can also enjoy. Kangumire ngakuyesu bione biansi bumuse bione biansi. Gwe mose yunu Kongumie ngo kuyasu Pyo nebyan si Gwe mose yunu Gwe nebyan se yunu Gwe mose yunu Let's sing the English version. I was looking for the song. This song was written by, um, it's a Christian song written by Edward Morte, a pastor at Reboth Baptist Church in Horseman, West Sac Sac Sussex. Morte wrote a, a, around a hundred hymns. This one, which he wrote in 1834, being the best known of us. If I'm not mistaken, I sent out a video of the originality of his song, the message behind it, why? If you don't have it, link in the bio, <laughs> and I'll do the honors. Mm. It was composed in 1836 and published in 1837, but the writer wrote it in 1834. Mm. Okay. Rock of Age, no, my hope is built on nothing less. Mm. He's saying that my hope is built on nothing less is part of a gospel hymn gene. The first stanza declares God's grace. Second stanza and third concern the application of that grace in times of trouble. In the final stanza, Morte brings his hymn full circle with the ultimate realization of God's grace. Amina Nyo Nyo Katiao Nitu Kivira Wanukuju Okay, more to call it two years, then you say two years and get a change of a reading says, Go and give into your zoom in the wind of the sometimes. Yes, yes, now. <coughs> All I need are the lyrics. If the lyrics cannot come up, I do the honors in my local language. It's as simple as that. I'll share with you something about this song, its relics and 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 the scriptures. Yes. My class, we drink, we laugh, we cry, but don't worry, no more tears. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, the words are here. It has a beautiful, it has a beautiful story. Don't just sing the songs for the sake of singing them. Why do I go into digging knowing who sang the song, where, when, how was it inspired by the Holy Spirit? These songs were inspired by the Holy Spirit. Musicians, gospel artists, you had an award, a big award. But are your songs full of the Holy Spirit or they are for just entertaining us? Okay, let's continue. My hope is built for nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. 
On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other grounds is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sun. All other ground is sinking sun. His oath is called, and his blood support me in the wailing flood. When all around my soul gives way, he then is all my hope and stay. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sun. When he shall come with trumpet sound, Oh, may I then in him be found, Dressed in his righteousness alone, Fortress to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. What ground are you standing on? Rugby players, I love you. If you know you're in the sports arena, what ground are you standing on? It's very interesting. I attended the funeral service of uh, Coach Robert Seguia. I, I, the songs that were played, it was mesmerizing. The organizers of that function, may the Lord bless you. You indeed said farewell, D2. The legend. But can we please, with Esther, we do it to someone when they're alive. You start to celebrate one another when you are still breathing. I want you guys to have a birthday party. Celebrating someone. Eh? Singing all the gospel songs that you know. Why is it that when someone dies you bring the gospel songs and on birthday parties to later for good? <laughs> Genealogy. <laughs> Start celebrating one another when you are still breathing. The Lord wants it. Because he's tired of you showing us love when we are going. That's why I told my friends, when my time on the candle burns out, please, no speeches. If you cannot give the speeches now, keep them to yourself. Guess what? One of the babies in my house was born on the 16th of December. And he's one of our MCs in the family. Now, with Esther, I have MCs. I have a powerhouse. But because I love supporting other friends, <laughs> I hire. Why? I don't want to keep the blessing in the house. I send it out. I hire people like Mukasa, Godfrey Wama. He's my OB from Mango Senior School. I hire people like MC Habo, <laughs> Hubbard. I created a <laughs> Lord, I hold it spirit. When you go on Facebook and you look for MC Hubbard, I'll share it on my wall so that you can find it. Those are some of the best MCs in town. If you have a best MC, you can also let me know. But Esther's family is power packed. <laughs> we have those who can speak on any function. But now one of the biggest MCs was given birth to. I call him Uncle Paul. <laughs> He's one man that speaks English and I'm like, yeah, right. So because he was born 
this class is going to be dedicated to him. I told him I'm going to speak only English throughout. <laughs> so enjoy my classes. So let us go into the word of God. Genealogy. <laughs> you have a bloodline, right? <laughs> now I want us to put things together. I want the mistakes you've been making those ends to stop. Parents, you know today Juju is going to get married. Today when I say today in Uganda, Jojo is a son to Apostle Bunjo and Sarah Bunjo. You've been seeing me around, running, running around with them. The Lord told me that I should publish them, that you should watch them as I must. And tomorrow it is Jojo's wedding. The entire nation, the entire world is going to watch him walk down the aisle. And guess what? He is prepared to take on the mantle. Now, marriage is for strong people. Jojo's wedding is going to change. It is going to repair the broken foundations. Isaiah 58 and verse 12. Yes. With Jojo, we sealed him. His marriage is going to change the world. It is an apostolic marriage. They plant, we uproot and we plant. So we uprooted all marriages that are not on Jesus' foundation. If your marriage is not founded, the foundation is not good, come for the class and I help you. Mm. So, since he's going to get married and Jojo has a bloodline, Jojo, <laughs> don't worry, that is Esther for you. When you know who Esther is, you enjoy everything. I've been in prison for 37 years, doing what others want me to do. The more you dictated, the more I feel sick. I am done, I am tired, I'm out. Last year, Apostle Bonjo had a visitor who told about the leads. Elijah went into the house of the widow and told the widow to collect all the jars. And I remember Pastor Jessica preached about the jars. And I also taught about the jars. But she never attended the class. My lead is off. I'm done. I'm done. I've been covered in a jar for 37 years. Guess what? The Lord popped the lead. I'll never forget that class. Apostle Bunjo, may the Lord bless you. You have nice friends, my friend. <laughs> The man who preached, I will share it. The class, I shared it on the other platform. I'll share it again, everywhere, everywhere. So that when you go to celebrate someone on those birthdays, the person is just shining. Wah, 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 you, you sing only gospel songs. I don't want to hear gospel songs when someone is dead. You'd rather not sing. Mm. On the birthday, we, we play fukura, fukura. Yet your birthday is a get. Did you know that? Every year November for me opens a big door. First November is my birthday. I told the Lord this year, no more tears. I want some peace. I want some joy. It feels good to have a, a heart that is free. I did not know. Now I know. No more imprisonment. If you have a prison for me, bye-bye. I'm off limits. Mm, I am off limits. I'll share again that class of the of Apostle Bonjo's friend. He talked about the judge. I can also look for I'll look for mine, I'll look for Pastor Jessica's and I I forward it more because the media teams I don't know what's wrong with your media teams, but it's okay either way. He's called Pastor Anthony Dylan. I'll share it and you hear for yourself. When he talked about the jazz, I remember I posted something, but guess what? Mine is off. I popped. Chuku. I popped, I popped, I popped. So, I, this year I've popped more. After my birthday, I popped more. <laughs> so, no more locking me in the jar. The jars had to be filled with the oil and they open. But for you, after putting the oil, you cover the jar. How will the oil flow? <laughs> I tell you. I tell you, my friends, we need to change things. I am a game changer. And guess what? If you refuse to change, it's you. Do you know why? 
you're going to come back and everything has changed. And to, why are we doing all this faster, faster? Because the president needs to open in January. But if you don't attend class, don't say I didn't tell you. Because the wave keeps on changing and flipping. I wrote something that Elijah and the widow, wow, jazz and oil. Leaders, go equip yourselves with today's evening service with Apostle Bunjo and the visitor. You have Imprison people enough is enough you have limited god with your ideas see you after covid my lead is off i'm flying i'm, fl I'm free while i could september the 27th 2020 i will post it again mm. that day my lead popped but when my grandfather in the spirit died I was cut off in November last year when he died. I was cut off and I had to go back because I was sick. My heart was sick. The Lord said the ego goes back huh? and it hides so that the, I can come out when I'm fresh. He was tired of my tears. He was tired of the pain. Uganda God is tired of your pain and the tears. Allow him to rebuild you again allow him to rebrand you i did the class of branding and I slowly slowly i'm branding my friends who had tagged who were tagged wrongly and those who had tagged me because when you tag me your friends remove the tags but they remove the tags the wrong way so they get burnt with acid i learned those things in my environmental work never remove a tag that you never put I wrote it somewhere, I'll share it again. Because you're going to get burned. You're removing a tag. You want to open a padlock with when you don't have the key? Use the right keys or else you'll stay in the lockdown for real. You never attended a divine encounter last year. One of the speakers said there is a pressure and you know when you're cooking, the pressure cooker does like, Psss. that's what you've been going through again. Everything that was said in that encounter has come to pass, or is going to come to pass. I taught the class of Ezekiel, chapter 12 and verse 25. The Lord is saying he's going to fulfill every word as he said it. Every word is going to be fulfilled, Uganda. Every word. Tell your pastors to attend my classes. Please. Because the Lord is going to fulfill every word. Go get the book and equip yourself. Help yourself. Help your family members. Help one another so that we can get out all of us. We march out and it's Apostle Bunjo with a stick that marches us out. But Apostle Bunjo is working with a team that I keep telling you to watch. The EMP, I will repeat it. So we had reached... Uh, Genesis chapter 12, and we were looking at Noah. Noah decided to drink like some of you. He drank himself silly, and he fell naked, and one of his boys found him naked, and he went and told his siblings. The, his siblings covered their, their father. Now, fathers, and you're still drinking alcohol. Abaganda vaininombe gamanti omwenge aksi vaganda. Bible ye gambo mwenge mkudazi ate mulekani. We look for the scripture. You drink wana no tamira tamira no gena ngoleka na kuchalo. Omsaji omkuru, omsaji injini omlamba. Ugindo leka na leka na kuchalo. Havana vone vee kweka. Ato mwenge gutuma. Ukakana ngoza deza dava na kuchalo. Omwenge muleka nyimukudazi. 
mubere ne mugama mu Yesu yakoro omwenge ne dabaganda bange alcohol waluwo omusumbe ya somesa ba muita James Victor Luwama yagamba omwenge alcohol has to go through a process the wine Jesus made did not go through a process I have friends who work with Nile breweries. I told you I'm coming. I am coming to audit your companies. I am certified. Nema did not certify me to to audit. Because I did not have money. Guess what? The Lord certified me. What man demotes, promotes and demotes, God promotes on a higher level. So I'm going to audit your companies. I am going to audit the nation. I'm going to audit your businesses. I'm going to audit your marriages and your children and your ministries until you cert you you comply so that you can retain your certificate of operation. Because if you don't comply, NEMA will not give you the certificate. If it never, I mean National Environment Management Authority. If it gives you a certificate, it will have conditions. If you don't abide by the rules, they close your company. You have a church in a wetland, I am coming for you. You don't want to obey the rules in the nation, I am coming for you. Those laws of government are there to govern the nation. I told you, stop saying that the president is a thief. I have worked with you, I have worked with you, especially member of parliament, people who work in government, you don't do your job. You want kin to gidogo. Then at the end of the day when you're in campaigns, you tell us how Museveni is a corrupt man. Nope, I told you, you missed the card because you don't wear the belt of truth. I am coming for the army uniform. You don't have a belt, hence your trousers, your skirt is down. You're going to learn to have a belt in your trousers, the right belts. I told you, you serve God with your entire body, your hair, your eyes, your... Now, ladies who buy eyelashes and hair, enjoy the class. I decided to go into originality last year, availability in the word of God. And the Lord hijacked everything of mine. I told you when I wear the hair, my head hurts. I get discomfort. I'm like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm not going back to the prison of 37 years. 7 is a restoration number. And 2020. I, I am walking the 37th year. In November next year, I'll start walking a new beginning. So I'm being restored right now. I'm being restored mm. back to the original settings of of the factory. When your phone has issues, they say, you know what? Bring it. Refurbishment. We restore the phone back to the original settings. Uganda, we are taking you back to the original settings. We stopped on uh, Genesis chapter 11. Verses 32. Noah, we stopped on data. Noah gave birth to children. And children gave birth to children. Noah gave birth to a son called Shem. And through Shem, who shamed him, <laughs> his name is Shem. And he went ahead to shame him, his father. And guess what? Noah cursed him. Now, parents, Noah was not supposed to curse his son. But it's because Noah decided to go and drink alcohol. And it treated him so bad. If you cannot handle that drink, don't bother yourself. Why? Why? Sitani Akswazem COVID nineteen never gamba. During this season, the Lord is raising a standard as the devil's raising a dust. But let that standard find you with sin in your heart. For now you're hiding, hiding those ends. You will see fire. 
and I will do that to be there to help you. I keep warning you, I leave warnings behind, you don't read, then you break the boards. You break the boards, right? You will see. I'll look for that scripture and we will share it. Because there is some misconception of that scripture of the wine. Jesus turning water into wine. That wine did not go through a process. Okay? That is why now has decided to produce things like Uganda Warage, the spirit that binds us. Now, brothers, we are tired of being bound by death speed. <clears throat> okay. We stopped at Terra. Terra lived. Terra is the father of Abram. So, verses twelve. Had we started? I I taught a class of 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 the immigrants. You are an immigrant, you have a friend, you have a father, you have a mother, you have a sister, you have a brother who is an immigrant. Please forward my class of immigration of immigrant to them. It comes from this scripture. In 2018, the Lord gave me Genesis chapter 12 and verses 1 to 3. Why was he giving it to me? Immigrants, you are the solution for COVID-19. You have all the tools, all the requirements. Why do you think that when that thing came, Africans were not dying? You have the tools, but you started dying because of sin. Eh, I'll give it as it is. The Lord is telling us things you're not listening. You're doing your own thing. You don't care. You don't want... Basically, I Last year, I told you 40-year-olds stay in the house. Why? You are a king. The 30-year-olds are kings, but they don't know that. They love playing around. 40-year-olds. 40 plus 30, you get 70. You number your days. Psalms 90. 40, David, Moses, the others that became kings at that level. And in the New Testament, Jesus will come and study it and <laughs> show you how it works. I love mathematics. If you are a 40-year-old, don't behave like a kid. Get serious with your life. You're supposed to be a king. Whether you're a woman or a man. Seguia died. He was born in 1978. So now you know how old he was. But by the time he died, he was big. He influenced a nation. He influenced me, myself, and I. With Esther, it is personal when I make friends. He was in his 40s. You 40-year-old, what have you done for yourself? And you have a lineage. Some of you have children. You don't even know the mother, right? We are changing things. We are tired of you giving birth to children from one girl to another girl. And now we are in COVID and people have to support you. No, 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 no. Support is good. But... Make things right. I told you in the marriage class. We start with marriage. Then we come to family. But the world changed it from family to marriage. And now things are crawling. That is why today Jojo is going to get married. Why? When you enter a covenant sealed by God, you don't struggle. I've been in a marriage of some of my parents. Of, they are making 36, 38 years. If their marriage was not sealed, I don't think they would stay together till death. My dad asked for my mother's hand in marriage. Do you guys still do those things? He visited with a few members from church and a few family members. They visited her grandmother's place. She was staying with her grandmother. I tell you, bit bit serif, you're serif. My dad did that in eighteen in nineteen eighty eighty three. They did not date for so long. 
if I'm not mistaken, they were less than six months. He went to visit. The Lord told him, that is your wife. For you, you just find a girl in the club, in the taxi. You can have a story. <laughs> Why do you think most of you? <laughs> yes, it. Because I come from a bloodline. And when I look at you, you cannot carry some of the things I carry. If I've dated, you've dated me and think it did not work out, it is not your fault. It was not meant to be. You could not carry the anointing. Some of you know my family members, some of you don't know. For us, when we get married, our family members... <laughs> <laughs> My dad asked for my mother's hand in marriage. He went to visit. My mother was told to serve him tea. I was told to serve him tea. I was told to serve him tea. I was told to serve him Unfortunately, he has also. I must now. Unless the people around him can are bold enough to give my father's testimony. But since they cannot, I was given the mandate to give it. My mother came to the sitting room and they asked, they called her to come and greet the visitors and bring some. T when she doesn't know what the visitors had come to do, she's like, oh, these people, I see them at church. What are they doing here? <laughs> and my dad was an elder in church, one of the, <laughs> the strongest, the principal. Those who worked with my dad know what I'm talking about. When he says no, it is a no. If you refuse, he keeps quiet and lets you be. But he tells you the truth. He's a man who has walked with the truth in his waist. That is why some of us, his children, some of you say we look like him. Lineage. My father gave birth to his kind. Someone said, Nineti Maninga Tata Wang. Sit him. It is because you never got an opportunity to know who he is. You assumed I am one of the simplest girls you can find. On condition you learn who I am. But if you start to assume, I'll work with you in your assumptions. I stopped giving examples of other people because someone said a disrespect to them. So I'm like, okay. I study, I teach in my class with those who have appreciated who I am. Hence, I give you a story. Men, young men, if you're getting married, if you want to get married, ask the Lord. Don't just see Esther those things and you're like, ha, ah, that girl. Esther. Ask those who studied with Esther. They'll tell you. Unfortunately, <laughs> the man who would have told your story, a small story about me, has going to be the Lord. My obese can tell you who Esther is. I love my friends. When I'm with them, I relax. I laugh. I love being around the boys. Why? My family has more men. My classes that have attended in school had more boys. My workplaces had more men than ladies. So life, you know, when I was joining the university, my father used to tell us, don't wear trousers. <laughs> don't wear trousers in his house. <laughs> and me, and I am the type, sick I am now. Gamze ya gambia iti, wabe rules and regulations. Zine, zine, sick I am now. I love peace, and I'll do whatever he says. Guess what? I say that I'll wait for him when I'm going at the university. <laughs> that is lineage of Esther. Mm. Now, young men, when you see a girl, or girls, when a man approaches you, Ask him where he comes from. Who is his father? Where does he come from? Who are they? Can you handle them? 
Stop saying Mbunu. You know they say love is blind. But guess what? When you get married to that person, you'll realize that love is not blind. <laughs> it is you who is blind. Yes, love covers a multitude of sin. But before you get to that level, don't scratch love when it's not yet that time. Because what is inside there is hot. Ask your friends, they've failed. Only that they don't speak the truth. But my friends who speak the truth, we've talked about issues, we've prayed about the issues, and they are flourishing. But those who pretend, pretend, I told you in COVID-19, if you are walking in sin, and your marriage is not based on God, you started your marriage in cohabiting, Jesus is coming. And the thing is going to burst. Why you don't have the belt of truth in your waist and your husband does not have the word of God in his heart, neither does your wife have the word of God in her heart. And the thing will bubble. You're going to make one mistake like this. And the devil, the devil is on a lookout like this. He's looking for me every day. Today's Friday. Thursday. Pruning. And I love my friends who keep sending me the devotions are also uh, also we got over pruning. I talked about pruning last year. This year. The more they send those devotions, the more I get pruned. <laughs> I was even bamboos is the catch with the comments and Rugana Remax Warren Bangambi Estoli Nichia. Fixing a very vacuid is a co, never never to call any vagina vacuid is until you go to cooler. New city can it never turn over. At some point, I got pissed. Never gamba if I am to report one by one. I have evidence of you chatting on your phone at work. The Esther see why it is. Kuwanga tata wangiti ya vinji giliza. Omwano mama wangiti ya vinji giliza kuwa hili. Omwano msiru siru avu maganya nyina. Omwano mgezi geza sansa chita wawwe. Jojo mwana mgezi. Ele nchati gena kuwila kumbuga yu. Chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. I'm just going to read through. Now in Haran, the Lord, Tuale Segulonga Tera, lived 200. He was going to Canaan. He never reached Canaan. He stopped in Haran. He stopped in Haran, where his firstborn child was given birth to. He gave birth to his son, then went to Uri, are you are the children. You can read the Bible. I'm just giving a recap. So, he died in Haran. He never went, you can imagine, he never went. And guess what? Tera yali murogo. Ngo yu jajau, yu singau, yu kojau. O yu mama, yu tauta, yu ya yagala nye dogo. I pity young girls who go in for married men. If you want to be a witch, go for a married man. Or for a married woman. You're going to learn to be a witch. Don't joke around. Now, if you come from a home and you have steps. I don't come from a home that has steps. I come from a home that it started with marriage, then children, then family. But my parents don't come from such backgrounds. They were not given the opportunity. Ba mama. Muloko keko. Kambize mruganda lume kuswaranyi. Ba mama, you have taken us to witchcraft for too long. Why? Because you want your child to be the favorite. Mothers are pana. And the Bible says a woman of Proverbs 31. It's because you carry, when, because you carry the child in your womb, you're always like, Esther <laughs> gave birth to a fire body instead of a baby. 
You know that kwanga mwabi nangira rangira dalunyo. The Lord said, I tell you everything. That is my testimony. And the time I had those things, they were telling young girls, the doctors, ha, basa, we mgeenda kweni nya. Muga ambaba na wagende wa fune mbuto. Mbua leme kufuna vizi nyiba, meresa apressed. I went to see a guy in Ate yali gai ni yali msa wechi na Ayesi wachi na Aba sa uwa muwa habo Anti nangi ni msa uwa habo Tonzo nyesi Nangi ni mpira ni dagala liyangi Wano sa gala kubu na abu nanyo Kanyue kawuri This is hibiscus When you know your situation As you are praying You sort yourself out this is a pure, all the way from Uganda, the land of a, the pearl of a freak. Hibiscus pearl. I have a Vutura, deep out. That glass of, of, of Dagala will come, don't worry. Mothers, enough is enough. Oh. You keep saying, Oh, my God, I'm going to go to my house. And you spoil the child and you take us into witchcraft, right? Why? You want the father to love you and your child so much. And now some of you are very old. Oh, you have children I have studied with, but they are a problem to us because you bewitched, bewitched your children. Now they come and clash with people like us who are going through deliverance. Oh, my goodness. Now in Haran, the Lord had said to Abram, Go away from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to the land which I will show you. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you abundantly and make your name great, exalted, distinguished, and you shall be a blessing, a source of great good to others, immigrant. Go back and attend that class of, immig of an immigrant. You're struggling in that country because the Lord never told you to go there. I told you, when you're coming to talk to Esther, advising Esther, find out who, how did she come to the U.S. Why is she here? I don't walk without direction. I stopped those things when I was back home. I come from a family where we have a big why. My father asked me, called me into the bedroom. His bedroom. I sat down on the f on on the floor. He was seated on his bed, and he asked me, Esther, did the Lord tell you about America? <laughs> uh, inside, I was a beast. I'm like this man is not serious. Six years no job. I am sick. Operation. They are sick. I have to take care of them. And he's now asking me whether the Lord told me to go to America. I was, whatever I'm telling you, I was quarreling inside me. Why? Because I looked at him and I could not understand him. But the Lord is so good. The Lord whispered and he's like, Esther, humble yourself. Don't quarrel, I can hear you. <laughs> the way I hear some of you quarrel when I'm teaching. I humbled myself. Then the Lord reminded me of the people my father kept on asking questions. Did the Lord tell you about that woman? I remembered and I touched my head. I'm like, oh, it is my turn now. If the Lord has not told me about this, I'm in trouble. But guess what? The Lord had started speaking about my moving out of the nation in 2000 I met a man I met a man I told you divine encounters careful with your friends but that man met me when I was in my mother's womb in 1984 how there is a lady that when you give birth to a child, there are people near you. Be careful 
we are in the gene genealogy. They used to call her Mama Nola. She died when I was at the university in my first year. I never even buried her. Now you have a, a, a friend, your friend, who first carried your child. I, Esther, have friends whose babies have carried immediately like this. One I saw when they were giving birth to her. The other one, when they gave birth to him, his grandmother, they gave the baby to the grandmother, and the grandmother gave the baby to me, and I carried the baby with a passion. The other baby, I was there, but I never carried the baby because of the environment. But I had to go back and see the seed so that I can water it as it is growing. I am not their parent, but the Lord allowed me to be in that child's life so that they can grow in what the Lord wants them to grow. Ask yourself, you ask God the friends you have around. How they deal with your child. Some of your friends move with a curse. Some of your friends move with God. Those who know me know me. I will not give examples of, of the people who move with God, but one of the people that moves with God that is on a big skill. That all of you have seen it physically. You don't need to search it. Is Pastor Robert. A man who sends rain, don't joke around. I have men, when they speak, you just take off. My friends that have walked with know when Esther prays, it works. But when pruning started, <laughs> we are looking at genealogy. Where do you come from? What has the Lord told you? The Lord told Abraham to leave. Did the Lord tell you to leave? And if you're to leave, to where you are? Me, when I left the country, I told the Lord, I'm not going to Boston. I don't stay in Kampala. Outside Kampala. No, never. Unless he takes me there. Why, immigrants, the Lord told you to speak the truth. The biggest altar that spreads rumors sits in Boston. There is also one in California. The states that have Uganda. South Africa has an altar. They sit there and they talk. Oh, Canada has an altar. How do I know? They've talked about me. And they've sent out the wrong words about me. And you have children, right? Genealogy. We are all going to repent. The lineage is very important. But on your lineage, there are people in that lineage. The Lord wants to deliver us from the bloodline curses and things. Our, some of our friends have cast our bloodlines. You think your friend, you're moving with your friend. People are jealous. Esther's being in America. People go to jealous, even those who know the Lord. We are all going to repent. You have bound your own children. People were asking, how were ya? Eh. But the Lord is gracious. And well, the Lord is kindness. The Lord is gracious. <laughs> if the Lord had not sent me here, <laughs> I was going to die in 2018. Because I got frustrated. People were not understanding me. When... Pastor J. Bartlett prayed for me. I started speaking like a chatterbox. People were like, that girl can talk. I have a lot of people who are talking. I have a lot of people who are talking. 
I had those things from people I've loved for years and I'm like, hey, I'm finished. <laughs> By the time the year ended, I never wanted to talk to anyone. Hence, my silence plus started. Be careful with people who carry your children when they're given birth to them. The lady that was with my mom, the lady who pressed, pressed me, she comes from Nanga, the village. And she knew Nanga. By then it was Nanga Christian Fellowship. But now it is Miracle Christian Fellowship. Their senior pastor is Pastor James Victor Worm. That lady, Mama Nola, Redeemed has a story, a lovely story. But Esther is having the loveliest story of the church among the children of the Chuempe movement. I think I have one of the sharpest. Be careful with people who carry your baby. That lady took my parents to Nanga through drama. That is why I told you, Pastor James Victor Wam has worked with me for 37 years. But his memory has, starting from 1998, those are 23 years back. 23 years back, it's all he knows. He prays for me. He prayed for me. The Lord told him that I ha he has the keys for that girl. I have a, my home pastor, but the Lord chose a man from a village. We're leaving after. Okay. The Lord chose a man in the village, and he is a, <laughs> he is a son of Miracle Saint, and he's a son of World Trumpet Mission. And Esther, the Lord says, Esther, take that book of that man, Dr. Mulind. Esther, go to Miracle Center, I'll give you transport, and you stay there. I am there 2014. The Lord says, Esther, start teaching children. My pastor found me and said, Esther, Come and we teach children. I told him the Lord had is not spoken. He looks at me and said, You want him to speak how many times? Why am I giving the story? The Lord wants to help servants, the young ones and the old. The Lord has told you things about people and you forgot. Esther does not forget. All of you, you've had a word for me. For me to go to Miracle Center, the Lord told someone to pay for my transport every Sunday as a must. It is the person who told me. I'm telling you what I was told. Then when I get to church, I was just attending church. Me, I was very bitter. I don't have a job. Sometimes I go with my little tours, you see them, to church. And I keep quiet. But at the same time, I used to to, to support the did Robert Kayanja Ministries every Sunday with how much? 200 shillings or 500 shillings? Okay. 200 or 500 Ugandan shillings because I didn't have a job. I stopped working in 2000. Ten, like having a job, a real job. I worked from 2009. I got a, my first job 2009 in May. 
I left that job in 2010 in May. I got another job with another consultancy. And I decided to go back to school in 2011. My school was during the day. And I went back to do a master's in renewable energy. Do you have a lineage? Do you see where I'm going or not? Do you just move? Abraham had direction. Do you have a sense of direction? We are still on genealogy. We have not diverted unless you're not following. You are moving in your life like this. Is there any sense of direction? Is where you are the right place? You have struggled too long. You have stayed at, on that mountain too long. Why? The Lord never sent you the year. I am talking to everyone, those who are saved and those who are not. My OBs and OGs, you're in countries the Lord never sent you to. You've done courses the Lord never told you to do. You just do because it's in mouth. You're not going to master it. No kurukuta, no gina, no kula telecom engineering. You must have seen anti jogana engineering because I'm an engineer. Why? Because you love rubbing shoulders. You went and you did the masters in it, <clears throat> and you don't have a job up to today. Ask the Lord why. Stop doing things for the sake of doing them for for fitting in. Fitting in is going to kill you. I was going to die. But still, you, I would be with people, but I would not do things like they do. But they would dictate. And I would agree sometimes I don't. I would not agree to something I don't think I should do. I don't dress like any other person. I dress up for my comfort. I don't wear ripped jeans. My trousers, there is a photo I sent out. I fell. I was crossing the road, a bus was coming, and I missed a step, and I fell so bad here. And I, I, I crushed my, I almost crushed my knee. I don't wear ripped jeans. Why? The devil is the designer. I see women here naked. And when you guys see those things, you just wear. I see all of you wear ripped jeans, and I'm like, to get back some certain for you, you're saying that you're humble. Okay, now come back. Can you the Holy Ghost? I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. He sits inside of me, and when he sits, he speaks. I wrote something. Let me read it for you. I wrote something. Before you come to blame Esther for anything, ask your people the truth. Ask your people the truth. I wrote something. Hope it's still there. But never sit in a conversation. <laughs> never sit in a conversation with someone who doesn't know how God speaks. Just keep quiet for the sake of your peace. Because most of the times those people just want to argue. If someone does not know how God speaks, just don't waste your energy. Don't prove a point. Me, I don't prove points. I don't prove points. It's not worth it. Okay? Everything that I wrote as a topic, we are going to produce a small book. We are going to produce a small book. All those things that you've seen my name there under scripture, those are topics the Lord wants us to handle. Why? The church has neglected those small things. Some of you say, those, why are you so detailed? The Lord is detailed. The Bible is detailed. Only that most of the things they were not put in the Bible. Bible scholars, you know this. Guess what? The Lord closed Bible colleges. 
Why? Because you are learning wrong things in your Bible colleges. You come out with the wrong theology. I've never been to a Bible college. I badly want. But the Lord said, Esther, unless I tell you to go, you're not going anywhere. I was like, yeah, yeah, I thought those who go to Bible college are the ones that are approved. Miracle Center graduated people. Archbishop Duncan Williams graduated bishops. Now it's the idea. Lord, I also want. Why? Because my fellow OGs and OBs in the Chiwempe movement, they are recognized because they're going to Bible colleges. As like, guess what? The Lord is like, I'll teach you. Just publish the people I want you to publish. And keep quiet and read the word the way I want you to read it. Your Bible colleges were closed in COVID-19 because they were teaching the wrong things. You're teaching people who have a bloodline the wrong things. We have PhD holders in theology. But when they speak like this, you just want to go now. They cram the things, but they don't work the talk. It's what I mean. And the Lord is like, COVID-19, come, took, close the Bible college. It is producing wrong pastors, wrong bishops, wrong professors. Did you ask the Lord to go and do that course? Did you ask the Lord to go for that girl, that boy, that man? About children, it is automatic. Children are a blessing. Some of you have aborted. That's a bloodline. When you abort, you are shedding blood, mama. And that blood is crying in heaven. It is there saying, Your kids are crying. Why did you go get pregnant? Don't tell me the devil tempted you. The devil found you way. There is a time I told someone. They're like, I told no, I was like, girls, we sell ourselves so short. I have kept myself for 20, 37 years. If you want to count also my baby years. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. I don't want to lie to you. 2010, I almost fell. I was in a relationship that was ended. It was terminated. I almost fell. I almost left the Lord. I told the Lord, why is it that the bad girls get... <laughs> Auntie Omrengi. I'm like, how can I keep myself? Because to me, I was going through a relationship to get married. <laughs> and the Lord looked at me and he's like, that girl. The bloodline. I have a bloodline. Now you date someone who also has a bloodline. I am helping you, those who are not yet in the thing, and those who are there and the thing is crawling and disturbing you. That man, that woman has a bloodline. Mothers, parents, you're pushing your kids to get married to pastor's kids. Do you know that pastor friend of yours, when he's at his home, has the Lord opened the, the, that pastor friend of yours where you're sending your kids to get married to? I've worked with your kids, I know. The kids I look at, I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I look at you and I'm like, mm -mm, Muwe mula, muvu ma, munyo mwenge. Katibu dae kuchachi yewa mwene we umbe. Patata unalawa pasta, we demiri, unalawa bisho, una... Nengamba pasta. I work with your kids, I know. O yotajie wafe tu vireki. Ngamba lewa gamba, ee, eh, ojako vera wanyo kuru jalwa ye. Ee, eh, kambele wo. Yesu wale tomu saja na sovolo kweti kama futa. Gwe yansu kayori kuchi. <laughs> The bloodline. You're taking Esther and she has a genealogy? You can imagine Mutavani wa nu wagabaita shemu. Kumlembe gunu muni nava bashemu kumlembe mugunu mutu bashemu wanji. 
I tell you, God, for deliverance, you don't want? Pastor Thomas, I mean, guess what? Your child, they go to school and they engage themselves in wrong things. Never do them, Zimu. Nakumawe wakanga do them, Zimu. When we go to school, we study with doctor's kids, president's kids. I have attended school with everything. And some of those kids, but their parents send them for a target. Now you, Esther, you go to school and you don't pray. Your parents are telling you, Esther, pray. I'm like, I'm going to pray. I'm going and you find kids there, they become your friends, they give you things, they give you gifts. Tu chala chala mikuwa no jafenze, nga chala. Ogena kuchala mbasiz, ogena chala mumu wa wamu logogwe. Your own friends are going to cut you down the throat. Mubila wa mubu kede katinze kamba yambi. You walking in church with people who are dealing in witchcraft. And that they read this Bible and they use it as witchcraft. The devil did it. The devil turned the Bible into witchcraft. I can sit here and say, Genesis 12. How they do it. Where is my Luganda Bible? They sit there. I can pray. Don't joke with me. In my senior three, one of my besties annoyed me. <laughs> He knocked me at the door, as in Senior 3 North. I've been in North throughout. I'm a Northerner. <laughs> he knocked me. You know how boys are like when we are in school. I got a couple of He knocked me. I asked him, why have you knocked me? For what? I told him, you will see. The next day, my friend was in hospital. He was hospitalized. Don't ask me what happened. I do not know. Your children have the anointing, but they do not know how to carry the anointing. They're using it the wrong way. And let me leave the children. Your parents don't know how to carry the anointing. When they get annoyed, they're like, Injakura gamsa jagwenzi ndikama futu. Na gende kama Bible yene mukazwe. Neva kurogira mu Bible. Na soma Bible, kanku somere mwe bakoro. Awoza, ati some say nombu, tu sonyiwe. Aina blood la inyo yugula. Agam, mwosonyiwe wala kuchututi nga yekala kata. Mwosonyiwe. Bwade kane mukaziwe. Na agamba mchala jiangu, tu genda mru taru kati. <laughs> hey, nyabo. Pass it. Genda ke wa msumba, to, mchiri vubi. O ina bloodline kutawa wanyagende wa msumba to. O rutalo tulutuwa alewa. Mkambi ya umuvi. Muruja umuvi tuuti. Na kwa ata baibuli ya ni mkazu. Na avana. Avana ya vagama temgende yo mwenye chachu siwa naka yo. Choka unfortunately. The thing that is going to deliver the child. Is in the next. In the neighborhood. Of the man he hates. Of the woman he hates. Why do you think. Eli Samuel had to grow up in Eli's house. Why did the Lord allow Joseph to go to Egypt? Egypt did not know God. And the Bible saying, "Togende, the anointing your child carries, it is in the neighborhood that can nurture it. Because your house cannot control the anointing, let the child go to the next church." Your Bible saying, "Ah, ah, I want to Guess what? You're destroying God's work because you're selfish. Your father, your father is in the Lord. Man, woman of God, they sit in the Bible with their their bloodline. Genesis Awo mkama na gamba ibulamu na teka weli nyori. Awo mkama na gamba istanti. Vamo siyo nyo. Era wali ya chikacho. Ni nyumba ya chita wu. O yingire mwusi. Jendi kulaga. Hmm. Nange ndi kupule gwange dene. Ndo wazo nengi la katia unga sumye baibiri nga nyize. Nga mungambia naba sentezo mwezi nditamu wa Amerika. 
the Lord gave me 1,500 1, pounds to come to the U.S. I looked and I'm like, guess what? I pray for you, my obese orgies. Don't worry. Yes, because you're when you got some more baby, you can only know blood. Right, no, some more baby. Nangendik fully guanged dinner. This is how people become witches in the bag. Nangendik fuller, a guanged dinner, it a knock wanga or mukisa, it a knock zing, knock knock zanga, knock zanga in your yo, it an eraverangam mukisa gui. Got a go, eraverangam kiso gui is tall. No gonna converse three. Nangi never won go mukisawa kuwa muksa wanasako. This is someone who knows the Lord, has the anointing and the annoyed, and they have a bloodline. And in their bloodline they were witch doctors. <laughs> Abraham's father Taylor was a witch. A wiz a witch a dear witch, a wizard. Read the Bible. Our bloodlines, we have people who deal in witchcraft. But me, I told my family, if you are in witchcraft, the Lord is going to fish you out and you get saved. If you don't get saved, enjoy Esther's classes. You, we've been bound by witchcraft for too long. And some of you say, Terry, your witchcraft. Tell us father was a, wi a wizard. And you're a simeon, you're which Bibles do you read? Then I sit here when I'm annoyed. That's why the Lord had to take me out and he's like, Esther, I cannot walk with you when you're annoyed. You need to first deal with that heart. I had to go through the book of Jeremiah. I taught the classes. If you are a wounded soldier, attend my classes with the passion. <laughs> wounded soldier, read Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 5 to 8. Then read Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 19. Mm. Dr. Mulinde taught these things. The Lord told me to teach them. But the Lord was teaching me instead. Why? Because I am the sick one, not Dr. Mulinde. Dr. Mulinde has already gone through Marakai chapter 3 and verse 3. Pastor Robert has been in the fire, the refiner. You have pruned him. Guess what? He's now standing strong like this. When he speaks, the Lord just moves. You have, you have helped Pastor Robert become so big. The Lord was like, okay, use the mouth the way you want. Talk about him the way you want. I told you, if I ever find any pastor using your pulpit, talking about any of your friends that you've worked with, Your license is going to be taken away. You have people in church who are sick. They need deliverance. We go to church to get healed. We don't go to church to fight your, your civilian wars. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. I don't get entangled in civilian wars. I learned the hard way. I'm supposed to be on the wall. Watch. Listen. Then warn. But because Esther loves action, whenever I would watch, see things, I get phone calls. Teacher Esther, Jaja Esther, Esther Mukwan, what do you think? Esther is like, okay, let's see. And Esther has a habit. I want to know what's happening the other side. I don't want to have only one side. Why? Because Mugena Kunku Yamasasi. The Lord says, Esther, watch. On the watchtower. Esther, because she loves action, I would always come down. And I would be like, okay, let's, have, let's see what happens. Uh -huh, kati yori, gambachi. Hey, okay, kanko mewo. I need to know what the other person is saying. I did what I was supposed to do. When people forgave each other, they forgot Esther. When the, the pruning stick came, you became a Chivoko squad. Took a kind of guess, guess. Cover a cotton, American color, we got a ticket, ticket, ticket. And you forgot that you have a bloodline. Esther has a bloodline. 
And Esther's bloodline has witches. The way Yose has it. Tulimati wa mwetedi ya Samira. Now Esther wanyiga. When I got annoyed, my anger, I would, I would release my anger in tears. When I'm very annoyed, stay away. But guess what? The Lord has delivered me. All the tears I cried these ends, Uganda, you felt it. One way or the other. All the tears, I would not lie to you. If you've ever made me cry when it's not happiness, you have paid the price. I will not hide. It is the truth. Either your marriages started breaking, your business started crawling, yourself you became something else. Other people can tell you those who know the Lord. Me, I would cry. I would release it all in tears. I am the biggest example. I told you I allowed to be the bad example so that I don't affect other apples in the basket. You also, when I teach these ends, you check yourself, do I have the anointing? Do I carry the mantle? Tulimu overnight, mkirasia Esther. Esther Solomon. Experience with the Lord. It is what it is called. How the younger man wrote it, I also got soaked. Esther's experience with God. Guess what? Yeah, it's just... <sighs> this is Derek Prince experiencing God's power. The Lord took my experience and he's using it to deliver a nation. Why? I am in Genesis chapter 12. When Esther, when your pastors get annoyed, they sit in the Bible. I was showing you how people became witches and wizards in the Bible. Let's read the English version so that those in English can also learn something out two or three. The Bible says now in Haran, put your own name. The Lord had said to, let me put myself, okay, not give you an example. Say to Esther, go away from your country and from your relatives. Get up, go away from Uganda and from your relatives, my relatives, Kajambo, and from your father's house. That's his dad's name. Those who went with him to school in Namasagali. You know the name. Those who went to school with him in, in Chivoli Senior Secondary School. That's it. My dad went to Namirembe Infant. By then it was in Is it Namirembe Infant over Mango something something? I am an OG to Chivoli. Senior secondary school. Guess what? My father took me to Chivuli because the headmaster that year when I did my SO4 was his OB. Chivuli Senior Secondary School. Hello. My dad took me there. It was our turn to enter. You know Chivuli is a Muslim school, right? We enter inside. Allah but you get Esther to get them technical no who. Ebia Esther ne yes to me technical no who. Do you know what the man did? My father can be can be dry, but I couldn't dry myself. They talked. They looked at my results. I had gotten a second grade. He looked at my results and said, "Nachimera Esther." Oh, see, Nachifoto wano. Oh, oh, Imagine you are if Parents seated in the corridors. I have a child and I have a mother. I have a dad. I have a boss. I have a visa. I have a car. I have a gagabe. I have a car. I have a van. I have a boat. I have a car. I have a boat. I have a car. Why? Because my dad was a man who was a man because of salvation. Rock where you could be watch Konde. Hey, na ingira nam. A chivuli nga kochu where we Konde. And he was the only scientist he's here. He sat alone in the class. I mean, I know. If you are my OB and you want to choose a senior secondary school, I am your OG by induction. I'm such a gamba tata wange. He's a friend. He's your OB. <laughs> OB.
Umsadiale kaneri nyali ange mu corridors nengamba ya Arabi. <laughs> nengamba I was like I wish I can be swallowed. Yegamba omwana te asto mi abulunji sinza mu achef. <laughs> oh nyabo. I felt like I needed the ground to swallow me. My dad as usual. Nangamba oh kare sebo. My dad does not mix pleasure with what? With business. He walked out smartly. Again, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to talk Senior four. All the way from Menga Senior School. But my mom used to tell me, read the Bible, pray. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I never give up about my my all level lifestyle. Cause that all level lifestyle, my hobbies and orgies decided to spread rumors about my virginity. <laughs> you have issues in your marriages, my hobbies and orgies, because you decided to use the mouth the wrong way. And you're in ministry now. Because my name is Kuka. But I'm going to praise the Lord. <laughs> you see what the bloodline does? You have a bloodline. Te Abraham's father was a wizard. Read, if I'm lying, you type it in it. Because with Esther, I am working, I'm in a boot camp. I learn on job. When I don't know something, I expect my fathers and mothers in the Lord to correct the mistake and give me the right scriptures if I don't have them. Because they do that for their children. I wrote something about parents. Don't look at Esther teaching her. She's teaching the wrong things. Then later, mutule mgamba kakana kakana limba. Because Why is it that I am correcting and I start to correcting? See, I am coming Because you did socialism in church, you have socialism. You choose who to teach kids. You choose who to give word. You choose who to. Uh, did you attend the class of shepherd and the sheep? Ezekiel 34. You did not attend that class. It is on social media. Go and attend. Or read your Bible and see what it says. Your kids, those so-called favorite kids of yours, they do like this. You will not see the pastor. The pastor does not have no time. Before you know it, he's bringing his father, he's bringing his sister, his siblings, his friend, friends. And I'm like, I was inside there. What happened? Esther's life experience with the Lord and people walking with the Lord. He said, I tell you everything. Why? Because you have people in church who are annoyed. But they are not bold enough to come and tell you their truth. What they do, they get annoyed and leave the church. Then they go around in those churches, those ends, and then you start saying, Kara mwana no gena mukchachi yaba nabi wa urimba. It is you who force people to go there. You don't give them attention. You give attention to only the few. Your friends have... Why do I waste my energy? The Lord gave me the mandate to do the honors. Revival fires are being destroyed. Revival. Revelations 2.18. There is a force that is pressing down upon the church. The church has a bloodline. It has a genealogy. It also has somewhere with, where it was birthed. Some of your churches come from your own pastors. They got a message from the Lord. That go to Nakapiripi and start a ministry. Then they are like, Lord, what do I, what do I call it? Before the ministry is called, you hear the ministry being called Revival Ministry Fires. Esther, you look here one day and Esther is like, Esther Ministry Revival Church. <laughs> I can never start a church. 
I was never called into that office. I use my name because the Lord has not told me to call myself anything. I told you, call yourselves prostitutes. Yet you're a prophet. You're walking in the wrong anointing. That is why you're being funny, funny out there. You're, you're walking in apost apostolic, yet you are a pastor, just Now you're doing things the wrong way. You are an apostle, but you're wearing the pastor's shoes. And you're doing things the wrong way. And you are a prophet. And you're walking in the evangelist shoes. We are going to come and study the far forward ministries. And you tell me your job on the team. I told you, if you are in a church and you are apostle, tava kuchituti, tagovako. An apostle is supposed to have a pastor. The pastor is a shepherd on the team. He has to pastor all of them. An apostle is a seed planter. He plants the seed and he walks out. He does not own a child. He plants, leaves it and goes. Go and listen to the to the testimony of Apostle Bonjo. I wish Apostle Alex Mitara can still. Apostle Alex Mitara said in 2019 he is retired. I was watching a conference that happened in Kabua Redeemed. They always have a conference every year. He was one of the last preachers. He came with boys, young boys. That he has mentored, he has raised from when they were babies. I will look for that class and share it. And he told his fellow servants, <laughs> And he used my dad as an example. Fun enough. He said, and they brought my own sister that follows me. You have the book, you don't read it. Uganda things are crawling. The, the, you're going to ask me, why are you going around? You will understand if you pay attention. Focus! Follow only Christ until submission. Then you'll understand Esther. If you don't focus, this is... This is a girl, that's what I was told. By pastors, by parents, by my own age So enjoy my classes. There is a force that is pressing down upon the church and it is opposing any effort to glorify God. There is a power which is standing over our nation, Uganda, and it is working to destroy the wisdom and glory of God. It is responsible for the dying of all the revival fires that have been coming into this nation, Uganda. Many times the fire began and it went down. The church has been slack and has not dealt with these forces. We have ignored them, but they are responsible for weakening the body of Christ and for dividing and bringing slumber to the church. They are responsible for weakening the people who have zeal and they are responsible for killing the fire of God in the hearts of men. Everybody who raises up then falls within a few months. Where is the calling of God? The gifts and calling of God are not reversible. Where are the men and women of God who shook the world and cities yesterday? The church has not been able to detect the enemy. All that we are doing is pointing fingers and accusing one another. Rejoicing when a man of God weakens. We simply say, did you hear what happened in that church? The pastor has fallen. Oh, that man has lost his anointing. Oh, he is no more. You have the book. And you still sit in conversations. in Amuliku past the is the right? And you've worked with Dr. Melinda for how long? This book, the Lord gave the message in 1995. I was in my primary five. And it's the first year I got my, the first pa facial paralysis. When I saw Kukcha 1995. I was in Chitabi Day and Boarding Primary School. Katualim Holiday. Na tuli mchale mchiyana. Na tukenza kulimeyo. 
and my mom gave me tea nga yika bisi but before that a teacher kusomeli yangu wakaka kumtue nga njoki na mkida asinaka wakana mwe kutu aurava <laughs> sitani watu ukilizevi into mo bloodline yo mtu she gives me tea i start to drink tea and it was just pouring then she slapped me then i cried when i cried she saw the mouth doing funny things then she stopped and looked at me careful there is a doctor in my mom <laughs> i got facial paralysis this is the third time in 2016 february so next year in february i'll be making how many years <laughs> the bloodline you see what the blind bloodline does i get annoyed i become like a terror when i use the bible the way i went because guess what when i pray the lord hears and answers nze tonza nyisanyi akuraga nja kutwala ye wamukama gwe and i'm like hmm I wish you can read Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 19. Jebyo muwendo mbitali bya muwendo ndibasomere. If you're there ngo cheka la kasa. Pastor, apostle, prophet, business owners, CEOs, family members, OGs and OGs, OBs. Ochere ye weka la kasa ni bakwano baba kumulumye omutwe. The Lord does not want your obese or orgies. The Lord wants you. The Lord told me, Esther, I want you. I want you to apologize to all of them. I was like, hey, that class is on Facebook. When I was apologizing, apologizing, you thought it was for what? Hey, I obey instructions. Now you put me in your group and you give us instructions. I have a problem. When you come and punch me, I bring back the rules and regulations of the group. And I see how many who follow the road missions. We are going to. We have a class of instructions, by the way. I did it. It is a key. Out of the COVID season, I did that class. I'm bringing it back. Mm. Now, if you are there, now your friends annoyed, annoyed you. Read this scripture. Let it be your memory verse. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter fifteen and verse nineteen. You can start from 15. You'll go and watch my class. Then you understand, but I'm going to only read one scripture. Therefore that says the Lord, Jeremiah had a bloodline. Jeremiah comes from which which tribe? Is Jeremiah Benjamite? He comes from the tribe of Benjamin. Let me confirm. Let me confirm with my baby. Mm. This is what I give the right things. Jeremiah chapter 1 and yes he's a Benjamin verses 1 chapter 1 verses 1 the words of Jeremiah son of Hilkiah one of the priests he was from a priesthood family who were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin to whom the word of the Lord came during the 13th year of the reign of Josiah the son of Ammon king of Judah it came to Jeremiah also in the days of Jehoiakim Kim. Jeremiah is a son of Hiriakim of the priests that were in Anathon in the land of Benjamin. Is he from the is he a Benjamite or he is or he is a Levite? His dad was a priest. And in the Old Testament priests were coming from the Levite's home. Now, which house do you come from? What is your Tambla mungu wa Muganda tulave. Tambla mungu wa Muganda hizi ndi babo. Abaganda mwaba 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 genealogy ne mumuchuso. Why the devil does a copy and paste? The devil go to the Bible you don't read and took it to the witches. They sit there in their shrines and they read the Bible. And they use it against you. Now if you know that you know that you know that you know that you know and you don't read the bible eh I told you Muslims your bible your Quran is here they just flipped things 
You keep saying muwa sabana. Jacob had four was in the it was not his doing. Jacob's wife is Rachel. We will come back and study the names you carry that you don't pray for. Hi, Peter. Eh, Peter Daroko. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I know why people don't want to come to the front line. <laughs> I'm sorry. Benjamin, Jeremiah comes from, either you tell me whether it is a Levite or he's a Benjamite. Because his father was a priest, but they were in the land of the Benjamin. Benjamin is one of uh, Jacob's sons. Those are the tribe, the twelve tribes of G of Israel. Do you know the sons? You don't know. Let me not spoil the thing because we are. I had gone to Jeremiah to give you the scripture when you get annoyed with your friends. I want. I'm giving you medicine, God's medicine bottle. Please go and read this book. It has. Go I've I've sent it out. It has a soft copy. If you cannot buy a hard copy, but with Esther. Through Mushave Dixon, I support ministry. <laughs> I buy. I don't get free things. It is Mushave Dixon who started those things. That you don't get free things from your friend's business. You pay. Esther has hard copies. I don't use soft copies apart from a few. I bought this book in Ashland. It was cut. It's supposed to be $18.99, but they cut it to $10. Ashland is like. Segeko Prayer Mountain. It is in Virginia. When you come in America and you want to go yaura yaura, instead of moving moving around, call Esther and I take you to Ashland. We just give them a call and they pick you from where, where you are. Or in your train and you stay somewhere, you are all in your airport on condition you inform us. But while you Ashland, a Ashland you cover campgrounds. I'll share the link and you see how marvelous the owner of that place is called Pastor Jen. They came from Israel, they bought the land. They have a beautiful story. I bought this book, but guess what? The Lord gave me this book when I was in Uganda when I was sick in, in, in February. In March, actually, March of 2016, the Lord sent a friend. Someone, the Lord sent someone. Pastor connects Esther to someone. And the person asked the Lord, I love you. I love my people who says the Lord said. I love you so much. When the young man came to see me, he said, he asked the Lord what he should bring me. He called me when I was in HTV. There's a clinic downstairs near our home. It is not a clinic, it's a health center owned by. It is the best, by the way. So let me recommend him now. Now, Dr. Mwanga, he's the, he's, the, he's the one in charge of Entebbe Grade B. <laughs> and yes, that is how I publish my, my people who have done a tremendous job with my family when we are sick. Dr. Mwang, I love you. There's a time he told my mom, Ah, ah, it's going to cool, dog. Again, I'm going to go to my mom. 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 I'm going Yangamba Esther, toina chikuta wanya, we tago mwami ataina vizibu. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I love my people. He sat me down. Nangamba Esther, kankubuli yengam to wangi. You're not sick. You're sick because of ina commitments nyingi. Oli na wakadibu, oli na na wevivyo, kati evi na wikutula kwa become sick. I wanted to get a man at Atali Sindi Kanja K. Young Mama Esther, you're sick. You don't need a man or Monaco. Young Mama Esther, you need 
need a man who can take care of you. <laughs> a man who will understand your health. A man who is ready and willing to walk the journey. Not those small, small boys who just want you to help them. Then they leave you there. <laughs> Why? Because he knows my potential. Esther can get anything at any time that she wants. <laughs> Why? It's because I have been my own parents since 2004 at 20 years of age. That is why some of you love me so much because you're like, hey, it's time networking. I taught myself. Why? Because I don't have a parent to get That is why when I was in school, I made sure I met the best of friends. I have friends who work in places and I'm like, yeah, when I just go for to the airport, civil aviation, I have a pilot. When I want to travel, I scan in the ear, just call him, and I'm like, guess what? I think I want to land in Uganda. What do you think? And the pilot is like, ah, ah, Estaned, <laughs> don't come. Before I went for surgery, because I work with doctors, my mom told me in 2013, call your friends and tell them, because I asked her a question. I had had issues when I was at the university. Of the fibroids, but I did not know. After her surgery, something dawned on me and the other. I think you have a problem, problem. Now we need to sort it out. Bloodline and the friends. We are going to study the class of friends. Let me leave it there. I just call her. Kuru, 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 kuru. Dr. Brian. It's a Gigi. Ah, ni nevi zi wana sivitigida. Hey, okay. Jangu. That was 2012. Jangu mudua liyo wani kampala whole speed. Ah, doctor, anga sila sa mdi esta kugambi jangu tombo za vingi vingi. Because I wasn't working. I went, the doctor paid for my ultrasound. Nenka hapa wuziga wuziga wabuli jo na tunuli langa. Ah, I still know it. Toka hapa wabuli unji. Nanzi za mamanyi. Because mkwano wea kola ultrasound, he could not contain me the way I cried. I did not cry that I have the things. I cried because I was, we were from a surgery with my mom. This is public information. Some of my friends came to see my mom in hospital. I'm coming for the class of friends. Eye genda kutuni mila nyo. And we see the kind of friends you carry for the Lord. If your friends are only there when you're happy, happy. The bloodline. All of my friends have a bloodline. You have a genealogy. But some of you in your genes, you do not know how to appreciate people. You, do not, you only know how to get. And when your friends make a mistake, you beat them. You don't. Cancel them in love. This goes from babies. That's why I told you. Your babies should not be like us. They should make the best of friends. Your baby should not be like you. Olimukodo. Togava. Oyomba nyato ya galokuwa. And you keep saying, God bless you. Bible yegamant chamkso kuwe wakusinga wakufuna. Pastors bambi. Pastors, I'm coming for the class of giving. Don't worry. Anti bloodline yet to Taiwan. Mm. Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 19. When you are annoyed, my friends, go and read the scripture. Therefore, thus says the Lord to Jeremiah, if you repent and give up this mistaken attitude of despair and self pity, then I will restore you to a state of inner peace so that you may stand before me. As my obedient representative. And if you separate the precious from the worthless. Examining yourself. And cleansing your heart. From, it does not say that your enemy cleanses their heart. No, 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 it is you. And cleansing your heart from unwarranted doubt concerning my faithfulness. You will become my spokesman. Let the people turn to you. And learn to value my values. But you, you must not turn to them with the regard of their idolatry and wickedness. 
and I will make you to this people a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but they will not prevail over you, for I am with you always to save you and protect you, says the Lord. So I will res rescue you out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem you from the grasping palm of the terrible and ruthless tyrant. Your mother became a tyrant. Your president became a tyrant. Your pastor is a tyrant. Your girl, your girl's boys group became a tyrant. Your CEO became a tyrant. Your vision bearer is a tyrant. Just go and turn. And you will never see tears in your life. You don't need to become a witch by using the Bible. Terah was a witch. And he was Abraham's dad. Mm. Your pastor sits there because he's annoyed and he's like, Njabalaga, Nzakatunda, Yogeda Nangi, Nemurida, Ningamba. I am the biggest prophet in the nation, Ningamba. Kotuvarovi, Mbalava, you're a movie name, you're a movie And her, uh, the sheep. Did you attend my class of the sheep? The sheep, you go to those churches and you study things that are right. When you get out, because you, your identity looks like your pastor, Yomba Yomba. Avuma avuma abantu ku kituti namwe we mufana nakati otule eno yoko gamba tujja kubalaga fe pasta wa fe ya bilaba fa apostle wa fe ya bilaba nemba tunulira naka e apostle nemka supplying i saw something and i was very i cried actually that time your pastor comes to the pulpit and he uses his emotions to preach to us because he quarreled with someone then he starts when mom gain am gain de to gain up from that class of the fireford ministries you have all done it i can bring your your you i can bring your recordings i am a publisher of god's word i am in the publishing house go and study the class of identity that i did branding your identity is poor and what guess what your people look like you and you have a bloodline genealogy okay let me show you how your pastor is bewitching other pastors or your mother or someone who is who has the anointing. Then when they get to verse three of Genesis chapter twelve and verse three, go, and I will bless the good for benefit those who bless me. Mm -hmm. I will curse. <laughs> that is subject to my wrath. And judgment to the one who curses, despises, dishonors, has contempt for you. And he used that scripture to beat your fellow men. People are going to die, but when they die because of your cursing, it is God who curses, not you. I've never, I, when, the, when, in 2010, when I was annoyed, I cursed. I did not do it intentionally, but I said, you will never find someone who is like me. I don't have copycats. I don't have a twin. I am alone. That is Esther when she's annoyed. <laughs> but don't worry. I repented. When I repented, I first repented on my behalf. I Then I repented on behalf of my friends who had annoyed me. Then I prayed a blessing. And when I prayed a blessing, things started to happen. People got jobs, people got married, people are flourishing. The Lord told me, Esther, you're going to pray for your friends as a must. You're going to pray for them a blessing as a must. I don't want them, I want you. Why? Because you carry something for me I want to use during COVID-19. Such a time as I am going to teach a class of Esther. Stop using my name <laughs> in the wrong reasons. I wrote something. Let me read it. I don't like cramming because those messages are not mine. Twenty twenty someone used my name. They were having their issues in their relationships. The Lord wants you to repent. I'm sorry. That's why it came up.
I'm sorry, but yeah, the Lord, the Lord wants his, his church cleaned properly. I am very sorry. It's not to me. <laughs> I am very, very sorry. It is not to me. Because if I don't obey instructions, I, I am sick. My parents are sick. My siblings fall sick and for them, but they don't, you know, because sometimes they don't want to buy things. Because they're supposed to be interceding for the nation and the pastors and everything around and pray, pray for East. <laughs> I wrote something. Did it? Was it? Did it? Did what happened? <laughs> I have someone hacking into the system. Don't, don't hack my account. You will not end. Please do not use Esther the name as an excuse of sin. Esther's purpose wasn't to become a second wife in a failed relationships what does your name mean or representing the word of god december 12 december 16th 2021 what's the meaning of your name esther esther did not become a second wife no 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 esther had a purpose esther had a calling esther was supposed to deliver israel the Jews out of the hand of a tyrant. Haman. Now when I look at you and you call yourself a sitter, yet you're not a sitter. You're Navikanja, if that's your English name. You enter Esther's anointing, be careful. Now parents who gave your babies Esther, please make sure you attend the class because your child has has a calling she has a work for god esther is a queen the lord allowed esther to go into the queen's position so that he can help the jews out of the hand of a tyrant i always hear you people say such a time as this and i'm like are you called the esther if you're called the esther you carry the esther anointing and you're busy hiding hiding those ends and the lord is telling you to do things Enjoy the class. I'm careful with my words now because I know myself. When I got annoyed, don't joke around. I'm like, you will never find someone like me. I don't have a copycat. I don't have a twin. Aunt Navagamid, by the time we finish these classes, I won't have a friend. Do you know why? I was struggling with that thing, and the Lord is very, very gracious. Sent me. A, a, I'll just say it is a few those who want, who don't fear many things in your books. It is a teaching of Dr. Mlindi. I'll just say it on my wall or two. Of course, I asked the media team the other side, they don't want. <laughs> they don't want. I keep asking for things, and they have. I want me to beg. Guess what? The Lord gave me access to the men you're hiding. So I just go. That's how you find things on my status and you wonder how I got them. It is because I don't have time for protocol. I'm sorry, the Lord said he's tired of your protocol. So he has given me people who are willing and ready to obey the instructions as they come. Mm. I have a, uh, I have a, I'll share it with you. It is called, it's on YouTube. It's called Surrender All. When the Lord told Dr. Melinda, give me your name, give me your family, give me everything that you own me, give me your titles. I will share it. That thing has helped me so much. Because I was like, <laughs> and I'm very bright. <laughs> oh, I come from a prestigious family. The Lord is like, yes, sir. I want them to be beaten so that we know if we can use this. Then after that, I dress you up. <coughs> okay, let us wind up. Let us wind up and I leave you. <coughs> Sorry, I have a family that comes from Toro. <laughs> My grandmother died in, in, in 2013. <laughs> Is it 13? 
and she died. All of us, when she died, we decided to speak it to her. And she comes from the royal family. So you see, as yes, I am from the royal family. Don't joke around, around. Uh, oh, the Toro. Hello. And guess what? The queen of Toro. Bestie, mama, bestie. Was with who? TDJX. Hey, the Lord wants to help Uganda on a big scale. <laughs> TDJX works with the Lord. You did not you know. That is a divine encounter because the Lord wants to help the kingdom of Toro. Why do you think that the young girl got married to an American? Because the Lord wanted a link. It was not by mistake. Those who quarrel, quarrel, how can the queen get married like this? Why? Because your cultures are not. The devil altered the thing. Genealogy. That is why now the queens and the kings and the princes, and the queen, they're also trying to live an, an ordinary lifestyle. Why? Because before the Lord, they are just like, oh, see. But guess what? When you get saved, I am a queen, a queen in the kingdom of God. That is why the queen of Navagirika attends the Esther feast. And it is organized by the what? The intercessors for Uganda and other teams all over the world. I attended one last year on a Zoom call. The queens we attended. You did not attend. I supplied it. I asked you to come and attend. But because you're not the queen and the king, you're like, I can't. Continue and finish. I sent and I to Vinji. Katatavia, Tavia, Chinga, Sibia, Vijonia. It is a season. The Lord left protocol. So when I ask something from your media team and they give me protocol, I go to the head. Why? Because I go direct to the men that you, you keep hiding, hiding, and the Lord wants them out. The Lord gave me authority. That is why he told me to tell you. Now I come to you and you have protocol. The Lord told me, obey their protocol, but take things outside their boxes. Because I left their WhatsApp groups, I left their churches. Now, if you are in the media team, stop giving me a hard time. Fall in line. Your church members are supposed to be sharing things. You keep saying, I love my pastor. You don't share his work. And Esther, one person has to come and share in all groups and... Then, then Mazumba is like, in I can't go sharing and you can't go band. Then I come running, but now I'm part of the band. Church, share, 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 share. Because I keep asking you to do it, you're not doing it. And my classes, you don't share them. So I'm like, okay, let me get in now. I can't be angry. Humility. I'm sorry, it is what it is. Pastors, tell your media teams to fall in line. Kubanga watu zema vega. In COVID-19, if you're in the media house of the Lord, you're not supposed to sleep. Why do you think I send a link and I send an audio? The Lord told me, make my work easy. There are people who cannot access the internet. Uganda, you were closed outside. The Lord decided that they close you outside because the sin was shouting. And he told some people... Don't go back to Facebook. Don't use the VPN. You are a thief. If you're still using a VPN and the Lord has not complained about it, it is okay. You're given access. But be careful with that access. So, please, mid, please churches on the EMP, send us audios of the classes so that people who do not, who cannot access the internet, but they can get the data, send them things and they download. And they listen because the Lord doesn't want them out. Your after Mazumba has YouTube to pay you. Oh, that is why he keeps on dictating. The class of technology is coming. I am coming. I am coming. If you are in the media house of the Lord, send us all the audios. Dr. Mlinde has been doing it. Pastor Tomo. Pastor Tom has a team of people he does not even know. They sit on radios, people in the UK. 
they sit on radios and record things then they send out in the groups right now groups is yamsimanya muwangu zitawanika byako zetu bingi then we have someone or you have to wear them into yagenda nanzi jako ku group sizona azaki madam abadich yagenda nanzi jako ningamba zesagala kuliza muwangu zitawanika anti katinze time yo kuliza ebye bintu yange yagwa ko kubanga i've worked with those people for so long now that is why I'm in the media house. So that what helped me can help you. That is why with Esther I cannot just sit there. Your media people sit there and never never uliliza. Never kwama never uliliza. Then I have to come and run around. Your churches have many people. Ne I'm twalo ni mtwalo je mulina right time in one point million that they are just shares why do you have just a hundred shares how many people do you pastor i don't drive this class i'm sorry i keep telling you things when you come into my box and you give protocol i delete and i move that is why the lord asked me to submit and serve Apostle Bonjo. Never give up has a TV. So everyone can watch TV. Channel 45, 44 has a TV. Pastor Tom has a radio. Apostle Chimuli. Ne, ne Apostle Bonjo. Ne Dr. Mulinde. These three, they hit worldwide. Pastor Robert hits worldwide, but he has a TV and it is on the satellite. So they don't need to download the information and send it out. You can watch TV. All of you can access TV. The houses that have TVs, Dr. Melinda's team, they send us audios. But these two, the restoration and discipleship, are very key. We are all disciples. But the disciple needs a restoration. And guess what? Restoration planted the disciple. That is why for them, see now in Bata, you have to be on their neck. So that we can get out of the season. They have a bloodline. If it is not delivered, genealogy, now if you know you're in the media house of any pastor, please, if you have church members, just say, Pastor, we love you, we love your messages, and they don't share him. Um, sanguguli kumtuwe gwa mwabali media houses, the churches are God wants the work out. I'm on different platforms, mainly for God's work. I'm not there for fun. <coughs> for fun. <coughs> <coughs> I'm there so that the work can get out. Your bloggers, your media houses, the Uganda. Bomu limu gwa bebagu kola bulunji bage nane bakukala katane banonyo olugambo. Naye mwe chachi ebya mo bishe yaringa. <laughs> no tula ku chemical ali nga ino mtu alo mulamba. <laughs> Nakugambe chemical ali is in October 31st. The witches brew and we choose the poison. That is why you named that young man that and guess what? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. This is serious. Genealogy. Eyo kanveyo. Mba manyi mwe mukuba. Atukwa tida ku teacher wafe. Ha, mwe itana teacher. Hai, tufu de chitiwa. Kanveyo, kanveyo. Mwa mwatu sofi zotukuba. Atukwa tida ku nupu tuja mukuba. Aba nupu muvuma. Tugenda kuja mu ame uniform checho rache ntebe tebagenda jibawa katona tagenda kujibawa until you change 
what is so sad in tina abantu ba mwa balokole batudde ku team eyo but because of the anger because of hatred jevali ne elimu 7 you are going to crawl until when they read jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 19 you know you will never see that seat nope never i'm sorry it is what it is i cannot sit here and see pastors see people who know the lord you sit and support things what does the bible say about praying for for leaders that man staying in your seat for too long it is not you before under stealing the votes before stealing it is not about the vote being stolen. I seek David on Saul. When David, when Saul was rejected, what happened? His seat was taken away immediately, effectively. And guess what? He sits in his chair and he gets the Bible and he quotes the scriptures. with the Bible. He has the sword. What does the Bible say? The word of God is a what? A double-edged sword. We are coming for the army uniform. I don't know why. I think we are going to end it somewhere. But this genealogy has to go on. Because it rotates in everything. The president of Uganda has a genealogy. He also needs deliverance. When is his birthday? I celebrate him. <coughs> he said, He said, He said, <laughs> Verses 4 of Genesis. We are going to stop somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> a genealogy is too long. Abraham gave birth. I'll I'll produce I'll produce a, a family tree. But I can't stop here. He wants us to to follow the story because there are things he needs to put together especially in line with marriage because when marriage fails a nation will fail the president has a wife and children your pastor has children and a wife if your pastor does not have children and a wife the lord is still preparing him or her and guess what some of your pastors we are the same age but because your pastor is your pastor, he's a huge. So when he speaks, you listen. When Esther speaks, <laughs> guess you what? That's why the Lord confirms his word using the many respect and women. Verses 4 of Genesis chapter 12. So Abram departed in faithful obedience as the Lord had directed him. And Lord, his nephew, left with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. How old are you? How old were you when you left your country? I left when I was 31. How old am I now? Was I 31? <laughs> <laughs> I am an 84 born. I left in June of 2016. Do the mathematics, then you'll tell me how old I was when I left Uganda. I made 37 years of age on 1st of November 2021. Thank you, my friends who celebrated me, who sent messages on my wall. Thank you so much. Thank you plenty. I appreciate. It is better than nothing. There was a time I was talking to someone and they are like, Yes, they celebrate their people. You even put them on your status. But for them, they don't put you on theirs. <laughs> I was like, no, don't worry. They don't have the couch. That is something that is in me that no one can take away. Unfortunately, when I die, they will put me on their status. <laughs> The Lord said those things have to stop. Why do you show us that when we die? <laughs> Let me finish with Sarai and her husband. <laughs> the genealogy. Verses 5 of 
verses for so abraham departed in faithful obedience as the lord had directed him and lot his nephew left with him lot was a son to haran the firstborn of terah so he was calling abraham abraham uncle obatata muluganda mm tata muluganda you see how where you are thinking is ayuba ganda abaganda tino rugezigezi Tumbale kanzu ni muimba echitibo cha buganda cha vanda some people yimba chafad eh eh mukamo sasire because it is polluted it's got from the bible other cultures will learn from us but also the chabazinga have their so alula need the Toro people also have this. I learn it. <laughs> I have family from all over the nations. I even have family from Germany. I have family from Kenya. I have family from America. The Americans. I have family from the UK. They are from the Queensland. Mama wa wabata tawa veyo. I have families that come from Nigeria. <laughs> yes, it is. I have family members who decided to do what we call cross country <laughs> they run cross country hmm. verses 4 so abram departed in faithful obedience as the lord had directed him and lot his nephew left with him abram was a 75 years old when he left haran abram took sarai his wife and lot his nephew and all their possessions which they had acquired and the people servants which they had acquired in haran you see the things he left with abram took sarai his wife and lord his nephew and all their possessions which they had acquired and the people servants which they had acquired in haran and they set out to go to the land of canaan when they came to the land of canaan canaani <laughs> hi tyron that's my workman he doesn't speak my local language but i'll ex i will be explaining don't worry a <laughs> canaani land milk of honey <laughs> they call the usa here the land of milk and honey but when I came here, I'm only seeing poison. <laughs> the American dream. <coughs> it is full of a poison. <coughs> Why? Because they polluted the things, yet they have a motto that says, In God we trust. But when I look at them, they trust their power. They have the power. <laughs> They trust their own wisdom because they think they are so bright. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> they keep dictating our internet every now and then. Why? Because Mazumba comes from here. Mazumba kama mugambe nzija. Okay. Abram verse 6. Abram passed through the land as far as the site of Shechem to the great Terabith Oak tree of mora now the canaanites were in the land at that time when then the lord appeared to abram and said i will give you this land to your descendants immigrant has the lord told you that he'll give you america has the lord told you that he'll give you south africa has the lord told you that he'll give you belgium has the lord told you that he'll give you the netherlands do you have power over netherlands do you have power over holland do you have power over the UK? Do you have power over Senegal? Do you have power over Australia? Do you have power over <laughs> Abu Dhabi? <laughs> Do you have power there? Now if you know that, you know that, you know that, you know that you went to the Middle East to work as a maid. Kadama, buy the book and help yourself. Guess what? Our lovely president, Obode Amini, sold us to the... He made a deal. He said, they said, you give you Sharia law and you bring it in the nation. And we give you money. 
And if you don't, you will take your children as slaves. Get the book if you know you're in Abu Dhabi. Please, the media team of Dr. Mlinde, we need a soft copy. We need the copy to go on Amazon, please. Thank you plenty. You are struggling, Wakadama. You're dying, you're taken to prison. That It is all here. In the book, you don't read. But you're good at sitting on Kenko Ali. It is not Museveni. You decided to go yourself and guess what? The members of parliament come and say Museveni is a corruption. Members of parliament, stop lying. I told you I am going to audit the parliament of Uganda. You are thieves. You don't do your work. The president gives you money and you sit on it and you eat it. Then you say he's corrupt. I'm going to audit you. And if you're found not worthy, you're going to leave the seat. So that people who can work. You love talking and you don't want to work? I am coming for you. We are tired of people who talk. You've talked too loud. We are tired. So that you stop lying about people. We will do that in the army uniform. I am finishing and I leave you. Verses 7, Genesis chapter 12. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, I will give you this land to your descendants. So Abram built an altar. Ah, uh, altars, altars, altars. I, Abraham built an altar there to honor the Lord who had appeared to him. We are going to stop there. My fellow countrymen who stay in Boston, you built an altar. What do you do on that altar? Lugambo, you backbite one another. That is the altar you have. You did not know. And I know you have the high priests there who sit on it. Even the saved people who know the Lord. They sit on those altars. You became wizards and witches on those altars. Yes, when you are at, on an altar, do you know what an altar is? Dr. Mlinda has been teaching. Pastor Robert has been teaching the altar. Apostle Chimuli, the altar, the altar, I will share their classes. Because you don't listen to me. I will share, but I will handle the altar. Wives, you want an altar. If your, if your husband is not putting a sacrifice on the altar, that marriage is in trouble. Says the Archbishop Duncan Williams. I watch things. The Lord told us to watch Archbishop Duncan Williams. Oh, you're... Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. He's telling me to watch them, right? Okay. I have that teaching. I'll share it. That wives, you are altars, and your husband is supposed to put a sacrifice on it. Dr. Chimuli will be dedicating children. I sent out a flyer. I haven't posted it here. I'll post it everywhere. I asked you last year, the Lord told you to dedicate, to consecrate yourselves. You never attended the class. Now, Apostle Chimuli will help you. I've seen some churches, they've started, they are dedicating one another. I told you last year. And thank the Lord that is confirming it in your churches, the men and women you respect. The Lord makes my work easy. But he keeps on saying, you go back, I don't want to take it <laughs> I'm always humbled to serve. I'm always happy to be here. But uh, uh, my, my time is fast spent. Yeah. I will share the things I said I'll share. I will share the things that I said that I'll share. Let me write them here so that I don't forget. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to share them one thing before I close because I need to I, I don't like cramming my head is full of many things because I deal with many people I deal with many things and I have my own personal life to also deal with though sometimes I put my personal life on hold so that the work of God can can move around, around. 
don't forget jojo's wedding it is at 9 a.m please keep time i will share it don't worry we have to attend that wedding in Omtima. why because the lord needs to deliver your own marriages that is why it is a public cafe he's in the apostolic the lord wants to uproot some marriages that are not worthy of the lord because your foundation is not jesus go and help yourself in the class i did of marriage and marriage and the word of god if you are not yet married and you started by cohabiting please go listen to the class it will help you so that you can you can have a stable foundation of your marriage it's supposed to be marriage then family never never if you haven't yet been there never get pregnant then get married if you're not yet there please stay away from sex before marriage stay away from sex before marriage if you're not married stay away from sex i'm coming for the class of virginity because church lost its virginity the lord needs to clean up your marriages he has given you a second chance when something is not pure it is polluted that is why god created virgins stop making people who are virgins look like fools that is god's work it is not yours i told you what man demoted is what the lord is promoting okay share dr mlinde's thing surrender look for altar the classes of altars i'm going to share them again from the specific the from the emp i'll share their altar classes <coughs> but the media houses are listening so they will have to send it through so that we can share it <coughs> dr chimuli is going to consecrate <coughs> it's a public affair <coughs> you can you can do it virtually you can be there and you do it for yourself with your kids i am leaving yes i'm leaving I think that is all. We are continuing with genealogy. Genealogy will continue alongside with the other classes we've talked about. The class of Esther is coming because I'm seeing very, very weird things in the internet. It happened last year. It is happening even this year. How can you say Mbunu, you are Esther now? I hear Vashuti. That is using the word of God the wrong way. The name of class of names will, will follow because it's also a long one because your name needs deliverance. Mm. Okay, that is all. Thank you so much for coming for Esther's classes. That is Esther, your friend that you've moved with for the past 30, 25, or 3 years. You did not know Esther. This is Esther. The Lord has allowed you to learn Esther this way because you had refused to know who Esther is. Sorry, sorry. But it is not my fault. <laughs> it is not me, not me, not me, not me. Mm. <clears throat> I'm going to sing a song, but it's going to be in my local language. I'm sorry. Those who who speak English, but the hymn song is called, Oh, How I Love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Hey, I look for the, for the words in English and try to see if I can sing it some other time. But today, we're going to sing. That reminds me, there is a song we need to sing. I <laughs> will sing it in the class of friends. Let me leave it. Mm, let me sing this other song. I'll sing it in my local language because I understand it best there. But uh, I'll, I'll bring the background information behind it, why the person wrote it, if it has a scripture. I'll do that next time. Because of time now, let me just sing the song. In English it is, Oh, how I love Jesus. In uh, my local language it is, Nego manyo o kulira kulinyalya yesu. Tewari nali mukunsi eriri fana na haleluyanga mwagala yesu nga mwagala yesu 
Gama gara esu ya soko kwa galanze litegeza omulo kazi bwe afa kurange ero kufa kwa kwensoni kwa mfulo we dembe haleluyanga mwagara esu Nga mwagala Yesu nga mwagala Yesu ya soko kwa galanze erinya lyo linsanyusa muvire vyena ku ero kufa ero bwembanga ko yenyo Rinzi za mama ni haleluyanga mwagala Yesu nga mwagala Yesu nga mwagala Yesu yasoko kwa galanze kanyi menga nyone sanyu awamu Yesu vi Kuanga Yesu yangamba tinkoma o mangu haleluyanga mwagala Yesu nga mwagala Yesu nga mwagala Yesu ya soko kwa ga alanze I love the way you handle my situation. I love the way you fight for me. Handle them, handle them, handle them. I love the way you handle my situation. I love the way you fight for me. Handle them, handle them, handle them. I love the way. Somebody, I'll tell you who the singer is. Oh, you try not copyright. Hey, <laughs> no, because the Lord has never told him to have a copyright. If he has it, we shall find out. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we thank you for this time. I thank you for the men and women, those who are able to come on the call. 
Lord, I pray for them. I cover them in the blood. Lord, those who need, um, those who need, give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I cover each and every one in the blood. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for all you've done for us. I seal this life in the blood. Continue to show yourself strong. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Master. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen. I will see you around during Jojo's wedding. Bye-bye.